Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. We're back at the start of yet another new week. Time really flies, doesn't it? Before we know it, that time of the year will be upon us. But let's not dwell on that just yet. I hope each of you had a fantastic weekend. In our previous video, I mentioned discussing the recent visit of the King and Queen to Mansion House. They participated in a ceremony rooted in the 13th century but underwent changes in the 17th century, namely the Pearl Sword tradition. This ceremony marks a new sovereign's initial official visit to the City of London. During this event, the Lord Mayor presents the Pearl Sword to the King, who then returns it, symbolizing the Lord Mayor's authority in the King's absence. The tradition originated in 1392 when the Lord Mayor offered his sword to King Richard II. However, the pivotal change occurred in 1641 when King Charles I promptly returned the sword to the Lord Mayor. This ritual has persisted since then. King Charles delivered a heartfelt speech during his visit, urging people to maintain civility in their discussions, particularly in reference to ongoing conflicts, which most interpret as a nod to social media. He stressed the importance of rising above hostility and bitterness in debates, a sentiment I wholeheartedly agree with. We're living in a time where expressing one's opinion is increasingly challenging. There's a growing trend where differing opinions aren't respected anymore. The prevalent tone on social media platforms like X, formerly Twitter, tends to be loud and confrontational, which often turns into a toxic environment. What struck me about the King's speech was its lack of preachiness. He advocated for kindness, mutual respect, and constructive debates without sounding condescending or dictatorial. This eloquence seems to be an inherited trait, reminiscent of his mother's approach. Now, shifting gears to Queen Elizabeth and her attire, Queen Camilla adorned herself with the girls of Great Britain and Ireland Tara, one of her favorite pieces. This stunning tiara was a gift to Queen Mary in 1893, when she was known as the Duchess of York. Later, it was passed on to Princess Elizabeth upon her marriage to Prince Philip in 1947. Queen Elizabeth always looked regal wearing it, and Queen Camilla is no exception. Speaking of royal happenings, another queen hosted a grand celebration for her grandson, the heir to the throne, on his 18th birthday. Prince Christian of Denmark marked this milestone, drawing attention from numerous young women. Amidst the festivities, a fairy tale like incident occurred. A young lady left her sparkling stiletto on the palace stairs, evoking Cinderella's tale. Speculation arose about the prince seeking his mysterious maiden, only for the young lady to reveal herself later, clarifying that it was all in good fun. A nod to the country's association with fairy tales thanks to Hans Christian Andersen. Transitioning to a different kind of tale, let's delve into a story that took an unfortunate turn from a wedding day. In her earlier marriage to Trevor, before her stardom on Suits as Rachel Zane, certain details hinted at Meghan Markle's intentions. The absence of a wedding photographer, videographer, and her request to erase all footage shortly after the ceremony suggests premeditation. It appears she might have continued the marriage due to external perceptions as leaving abruptly after gaining fame might have seemed conspicuous. These observations indicate that her feelings toward Trevor might have been genuine, contrasting her later public persona. It's my perception that Megan is one of those individuals who experienced a taste of fame that swiftly went to her head. The news of Suits being renewed for a second season marked her departure from her previous relationship with Trevor. However, I hold the belief that she never fully let go of him this belief stems from her persistent wearing of the Cartier Love Bracelet, a wedding gift from Trevor. Interestingly, the design of this bracelet is rooted in the concept of chastity belts, meant to be permanently affixed once worn, a romanticized version of a chastity belt, if you will. The significance lies not just in its status as an ex-partner's gift, but as a symbol of eternal commitment, making it peculiar that Meghan insisted on continuing to wear it. Adding to this, the engagement ring from Harry, which incorporated diamonds from his mother's collection along with the Botswana Central Diamond, underwent a transformation by Meghan to resemble a chastity belt, reminiscent of a ring previously gifted by Trevor. Analyzing her wedding rings, they mirror the style of those received from Trevor, 
multitude diamonds, reflecting a certain opulence akin to a footballer's wife. Her alteration of the engagement and eternity rings from Harry implies a connection to her past marriage, suggesting she hasn't entirely moved on despite initiating the split with Trevor, a split executed in a rather impersonal manner, sending back the rings via FedEx without a word. There were rumors circulating about Meghan having affairs, notably with a hockey player, which both parties vehemently denied, including one of her co-stars. Suspicion heightened further when Patrick J. Adams, a colleague and friend, posted photos of Meghan in an intimate manner. While they may have played on-screen lovers, such public displays between work colleagues seemed dubious. Adams swiftly removed the images, attributing their release to an issue related to an actor's strike, but speculations lingered given the nature of the photos and their subsequent deletion. The reason for delving into Megan's past with Trevor relates to reports suggesting he's been offered a substantial sum to write a tell-all book detailing their time together. Trevor shared a long history with Megan, encompassing her earlier, more grounded days when she maintained close ties with childhood friends and family, presenting a different persona than the one she became post-Soho House encounters. Trevor holds intimate knowledge of Megan's dynamics with her family and her willingness to pursue her desires at others' expense. While Megan continues to hold on to elements of her past relationship, Trevor has moved forward, proposing to Tracy Cuthbert, a dietitian, and Harris, not long after Megan married Harry. Despite the potential financial gain from such a book, Trevor's life has taken a turn for the better. His combined wealth with Tracy reportedly surpasses that of Harry and Meghan. Considering their two daughters and a harmonious marriage, exposing their past would serve no purpose beyond inviting intrusive media attention. Trevor appears to prioritize family over monetary gain, suggesting that Meghan's departure might have ultimately worked out for the best. He has found happiness in his present life, a testament to possibly dodging a detrimental situation with Meghan. Trevor's narrative on their past could bring to light details that are best kept private, causing unnecessary distress to his family. Despite not knowing Trevor personally, his actions portray a sense of decency and commitment to his family, a quality that seems absent in the media-driven lives of Harry and Meghan. Ultimately, Trevor's decision to move forward appears to have been the right one, securing a happy life for himself and his loved ones, while Meghan continues to navigate the public spotlight. The recent events surrounding the royal couple, Harry and Meghan, seem to be unveiling a narrative that sharply contrasts the fairy tale love story we were initially presented. Remember the enchanting tale we were sold? The love saga meant to transcend eras, captured in a meticulously crafted six-part Netflix documentary, showcasing their deep affection. However, despite these romantic portrayals, a deluge of stories is flooding social media and traditional news outlets, painting a different picture, one of unraveling and distress. The disheartening tales that have surfaced suggest internal turmoil within their relationship. Reports allude to Harry's supposed jealousy towards Meghan, even claiming he made her cry on a balcony, echoing past royal family struggles. These incidents bear an uncanny resemblance to historical parallels notably Charles' jealousy of Diana's public popularity and her subsequent battles, including struggles with bulimia. Meghan's reported weight loss and visible stress in public appearances further fuel concerns about her well-being and the stability of their marriage. Numerous sightings and narratives circulate, each depicting Meghan in distressing scenarios, dining without Harry, engaging in activities with friends while appearing tense and overwhelmed and even photographed in stressful situations like a parking lot encounter. It seems orchestrated, almost as if each public appearance is meticulously crafted to convey a message about their relationship strain. Speculation intensifies as it's hinted that Harry may have laid the groundwork for their potential divorce through interviews and actions. Instances like the couple holding wrists instead of hands in a holiday picture are scrutinized, suggesting a deliberate attempt to showcase their disconnect. Their recent holiday, notably without their children, prompts conflicting stories, trying to portray them either as a unified couple attempting to salvage their marriage or as individuals struggling amidst societal pressures and negative media attention. The impending divorce, should it occur, is anticipated to be tumultuous. 
The geographical distance between Harry in the UK and Meghan in America, coupled with their differing trajectories and public image, only amplifies this prediction. Harry's reported property purchase in the UK contrasts sharply with Meghan's clear stance of not relocating, hinting at irreconcilable differences. Amidst these speculations, Harry's potential property acquisition in the UK raises eyebrows. While some attribute it to his desire to maintain ties or for tax-related purposes, skepticism arises considering the fractured relations between Harry and the royal family. The ongoing rift seems irreparable and the couple's attempt to portray unity in public events might nearly be a facade, driven by a reluctance to admit defeat or succumb to public scrutiny. The narrative surrounding Harry and Meghan is swiftly evolving into a whirlwind of controversy, hinting at a separation already in motion. Their separate public appearances, seemingly deliberate to portray normalcy, possibly underscore their struggle to maintain appearances for the sake of their children and their own egos. In summary, the once glorified love story between Harry and Meghan appears to be cracking under the weight of scrutiny, social pressure, and personal struggles. The looming prospect of divorce seems inevitable, presenting a challenging and messy ordeal, not just for the couple, but also for their families and the public entangled in this captivating yet tumultuous saga.